Hello and welcome to Guten. My name is Kevin and today we'll go over how to sync products from your Shopify store. To sync products from your Shopify store, let's first go to the product hub. Click on the Shopify tab. Next, click on the sync product button. This will take you to the product sync page that lets you see which products you can sync from Shopify. For now, we'll select this mug product to sync and then click on the sync product button. Once we're on the sync a product page, you can answer the question here and follow the sync process. You're given the option to either sync your Shopify product to an existing product that we have saved in our product hub or sync it to a new product. In this scenario, we'll click no because we want to sync this Shopify product to a new product in Guten. Now we have to search and select a product in Guten that matches the Shopify product. You can use the drop down to search and select your product. Below, it will display the variant options for the product that you have selected. Now you need to choose which variant you want to sync your Shopify product to. Please note that the next part is important when syncing your products. As you can see here, you need to match the correct SKU for your product. In our scenario, we need to select a match for an 11 ounce mug. The first section will show the suggested matches of product variants that you can sync your product to. The second section will show all the product variants in our system. You can search through all of our variants. For now, we'll search all of our mug variants for 11 ounce mugs. We'll select the wrap around with border 11 ounce mug variant. After all of your SKUs are synced, you can click on the Continue to Upload Artwork button. This will take you to our image editor page where you can upload your design and edit it on your product. Click on the Bulk Upload Artwork button. From here, you can upload any new artwork for your product by clicking the Upload New Artwork button. For now, we'll upload an artwork that's already saved in our system. To do this, simply highlight over the image and then click on the Select button. Once you upload the artwork, you can see your image displayed on your product. Here, you're provided with an option to change the scale of your artwork on your product. We also provide additional options to crop your artwork, center it, rotate it, and undo or redo any changes. Let's make some changes to see how our artwork looks on our product. After you're done editing your artwork on your product, click on the Continue button. On this page, you can check out a mock-up of your product. Click on the continue button to proceed to the final process. This is the product details page where you can edit your product information and set the prices. You can change your product name here and as you type, it will automatically update the name. You can also change the description for your product and select a wide variety of other options for your product. Here you're provided an option to push this product to your store as a draft if you are not fully ready to publish your product. The pricing section allows you to view the price of your product, set the profit for your product, and view how much it's going to cost your customer. Here, you can set how much you're profiting from your product, and once you change the profit, the retail price for your customer will adjust accordingly. The variants section allows you to see which variants are synced for this particular product. Let's scroll up, and you can choose to upload the mock images to your store. After you're all done, click on the sync product button and wait for it to finish processing. Once finished, you can see a notification that shows you that your product has been synced. You can see the product that you just synced here in the product hub. Now, if we go to the Shopify tab in the product hub, you will see that the product was synced for your Shopify store. Congratulations, you have just learned how to sync products from your Shopify store. My name is Kevin, and thank you for watching.